What is up everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, it's another day, another unboxing. Um, I am flipping my Cygnus right now from LDY and that is because I have ballast songs from LDY to unbox. Um, these were sent to me by them, very appreciative of it. Uh, it's always a little bit scary getting ballast songs sent from overseas. I've had a couple times where my address got messed up and then it just they just disappear into the ether. Like there's no telling what happened to them. They don't really get returned to sender because like if they're coming from China, you know, they're not going to ship it back to China. Um, so yeah, they just kind of they just kind of vanish, which is a little frustrating. But yeah, we have two ballast songs today. I don't know if they're the same or not, but let's just... Let's crack in, shall we? Ooh. So I believe this is called the Orion. Oh, that explains the rattling sound. So when I got these, they were making a rattling sound. It looks like that they are now distributing the extra hardware in a little pill bottle, t pill bottle which I honestly kind of love. That's actually hilarious. Um, did my camera framing change? It did. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, that is... Hilarious. I love I love the little pill bottle. That's fun. Anyways, I believe this is the Orion. Oh, whoa. 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 I must say I'm always terrified of LDY's blades. I know they come freaking razor sharp from the factory and oh, oh. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm just making noise now for y'all. I hope this is this is educational. Um, the boxes are a little hard to deal with. Ooh, ooh, I do love the design of that. That is a pretty good uh, blade design for the trainer blade. I do like that. As you know, I'm a sickler for buoys. I just I just love a love a buoy knife. Any hooters? Oh, this is good. This is very impressive. The way this works is great. This is, this feels, oh my God, there's no play. Out of the box, immediately, very impressed with this. Oh my God. Um, it definitely has a very similar weight and balance to the Cygnus. Um, the Cygnus is definitely handle biased and I, for a while was trying to figure out what was wrong with it because it is basically the perfect ballast song except for something <laughs> right like i was like i i love everything about this except there's something and i can't put my finger on it and i don't know what it is and i realized it's um the the construction of this ballast song is actually misleading you have a fair bit of titanium up here but then there's all this g10 and what I realized is all this G10 has almost no mass. So this spot in the middle where they milled out a pocket on the inside and then milled out a huge hole here and it's sandwiched, and then there's all this G10 replacing the titanium, you're actually removing a ton of weight from the middle of the handles. And so that's what I'm feeling is that all the weight, once again, being concentrated in the bottom of the handles isn't necessarily the best for flipping. Um, I think the Cygnus is one of the best flippers I've ever flipped, so, you know, there's there's that. But it does have a little bit of weirdness, and that is, I think, where the weirdness comes from. This guy is a little bit better distributed weight-wise. I'm not sure what I'm experiencing, though, because, like, are these... These have to be aluminum, right? Is this... Like, I don't know what material this is. It looks like plastic, but I think it's PVD-coated aluminum. I'm just gonna... Yeah, that's gotta be metal. Okay, so that's gotta be PVD-coated aluminum is what I'm going to guess. Let's open up the other one. I think it's gonna be the same thing, different color maybe? Different color, different color? Yeah, black. Ooh, with the trainer blade. Oh, and it's a comb. You're fucking kidding me. You are kidding me. It comes with... There's a comb. Bro. Wait. All right. One second. Comb test. Oh. Oh. It does work. Okay. That is a functional comb. That is very exciting. It's it's not fine-toothed, but it is a functional comb. And I, for the longest time, have wanted a good flipping comb balisong. Oh, my God. This is amazing. This flips great. Holy crap. What? Oh, my God. LDY, what are you guys doing? How do you do this? 
Oh my good lord. Okay, so this is obviously coated aluminum, just like this one. So these are both coated aluminum. This one comes with a freaking comb trainer blade. I am I am legit gonna carry this everywhere. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Um, I love that. If 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 you're gonna have a trainer blade, I believe it should have some sort of functionality, which is why the Vulp has a bottle opener on it. Um, and I, I comb ballast songs are the other thing that I personally love simply because I have long hair and a beard. And so a comb ballast song is actually like very useful for me. But both of these flip like a dream. Like these are, these are really good flippers. I'm gonna say that straight up right now. This is just some incredible, incredible flipping. Um, really, really like this. I'm kind of blown away right now with how good this is. Um, if you haven't heard of LDY before, wh what are you doing? Uh, LDY Balasong is a kind of weird maker. Um, as far as I know, it's multiple designers all together to make one thing. Um, they're a little hard to figure out. They're LDY underscore Balasong on Instagram. Um, so definitely go check out their Instagram for like updates and stuff like that. But yeah, they're a little bit of a weird conglomerate from what I know, but they make just some of the most incredible stuff. Like I am so genuinely impressed with the designs coming out of LDY. They really, really, really know what they're doing. And they really, really know how to make some incredible work. Um, I don't know what factories they're working with or if they're doing their own stuff. I genuinely have no idea. Um, but it is, I'm, I'm assuming they're working with some sort of factories. The, the hardware um, continuously kind of looks very adjacent to Maxace's hardware. So I have a feeling that they're at least using a similar process for that. Um, but oh my god. Like, are you kidding me right now? This is insane. And both of these have zero play, like actually, actually literally zero. I'm doing the play check right now and you, there's no, you can see it wiggles the tiniest amount. Like that's, that's nuts. And my, my Cygnus is the same way, <clears throat> even right now, like almost nothing. There's the tiniest, tiniest bit of play and that's completely, I haven't tightened this thing basically since I bought it. So like, <laughs> that's like the default play after me flipping the heck out of this thing. Oh, LDY, you've done it again. And I love that they're doing it again with sandwich design, right? This is a sandwich design ballast song. We don't have enough of those anymore. Everything has been channel, 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 channel. And so we're finally, it seems like getting that sandwich renaissance where people are realizing that like there is a lot you can do with sandwich ballast songs that is beyond the scope of channel. You know, channel was really nice when it came back. I think people were really missing channel because initially channel was the only thing to exist and then sandwich was the only thing to exist and then channel didn't exist at all except for in the archangel and the gemini and the uh benchmade 42 and 87 like those were like the only channel ballast songs at the time and then you had like the squid trainer um so channel and specifically titanium channel coming back is great to see but sandwich and sandwich making a resurgence uh or or even making a whole new sort of world I think it's awesome. And I immediately, I'm going to tell you right now, this flips insanely well. Like these feel, these feel amazing. I mean, obviously I can tell that this one was targeted at Brandon and this one is targeted at me. This one has literally the thing I've been asking for, which is a good flipping ballast song comb other than my Max Ace. Um, ooh, what's it called? I, now I've got the name of the Archangel in my head and I can't think of the name of the Max Ace product, but I do have a Max Ace comb that's really good, so I'll give them that, though I prefer the live blade on it and I keep the live blade on it because it flips better than the comb. This this comb flips just as good as the live blade, if not slightly better. Like that's, honestly, I think it maybe flips slightly better than the live blade. That is hilarious. Um, that's very impressive. That is very very impressive LDY, good job. Combs are extremely hard to design as trainer blades because uh, the amount of material you have to leave on the trainer blade in the form of the comb for it to be functional and stable, like like stable in terms of like, if you drop it, it won't shatter. Um, it, it's a lot of material. And so it's kind of hard to combat that. The jimping does work. 
and it's sandwiched, so you get pretty good grip along the sides anyways. It feels great to fan. It's like the perfect size, the perfect roundness for fanning. Jesus Christ. This is unfair. Like, I don't know how LDY does it, but they are genuinely probably the most promising Balasong maker right now in terms of, like, their consistent ability to create just incredible products that are unique. Like, genuinely, wholly unique. Not products that have, like... Sure, they're, they are very directly derived from things. For instance, they uh, explain the Cygnus as having the um, the flipping, the flippability of a Krakorakin with the feel of a replicant, um, which is true. But like the the way that they did it is so unique and so new, and and, and involves so many processes that I just haven't seen used on ballast songs before. And it really shows that there is so much room to grow in terms of ballast songs and like what they can be. And LDY, once again, with this ballast song, is continuing to show that. So, yeah, goddamn. Thanks, LDY. This has been a really, really great unboxing experience. I hope that you guys um, enjoyed me geeking out and enjoying your ballast songs because, uh, man, do I really enjoy these things. So, yeah, uh, thank you, LDY, for sending these my way uh, and look forward to a full review coming eventually because... Uh, Damn, these are good. And I still need to review the Cygnus. The Cygnus is the next review up on the docket, but I've been, it's taken me a long time. As I said, I couldn't figure out what was weird about it. And now I think I have, and now I can write my actual script about it. But man, man, LDY, how do you do it? How do you do it? What's up with that? I don't know. Either way, awesome. Well, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you appreciated this. Uh, I uh, definitely appreciated this. And uh, I'll see y'all later. Peace.